And welcome to the next episode of Talk To Me About, the Guilty Gear podcast where we talk about your faves and why you love them. I'm your host, D. Hello. And I'm here with my co-host, Jay. Hi, Jay. Hello. And today, oh, today, we are here to talk about um, rare niche character from uh, Xbox 360 MOBA RTS action-like ga- uh, spin-off game, guilty- or not spin-off, mainline game, Guilty Gear 2 Overture, which is not the second game in the series. Canon essential game is, I think, how you should phrase that. Pivotal, <laughs> pivotal story-relevant game. I don't know if you've seen the interviews. Daisuke thought this was going to start, like, a genre revolution. Like, he I, was just, like... <laughs> we stand. We stand. I respect the fuck out of that. I, this is the, the essence of Guilty Gear, is just making something as inscrutable as possible because it is Daisuke's vision. <laughs> and today we are talking about one of the original characters from this game, uh, Izuna, who is a yokai, or magical fochai, foki, um, uh, who is the entire nation of Japan, but as a guy. He's very- <laughs> he's very We love cute. to see it. <laughs> Young, so full of Japan. Mm-hmm. And- <laughs> Not even with the Japan-shaped belly. <laughs> <laughs> So let's introduce our three trickster uh, guests who have come on today to talk about this wonderful man. And let's start it off with j j j Gio. Hi, Gio. Hello, um, I'm Gio. I play uh, Strive badly, and I want this guy in the game because he's chill. I like him, and full beard fox guy. I just like this character. He is just yeah. cool. That that is the yeah, perfect he's justification. Cool. He's fucking yeah. Neat. The perfect justification. He's chill. He's just mm-hmm. chill. Like true, that. true. He's Very just few a guy. Like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just hanging out. Don't forget. In addition to being the Strive Anji guy on Twitter, you've also run a couple like uh, projects, uh, like such as like the a Strive Fanny redesign project, which I was on. Which thank you, by the way, for inviting yeah. me onto that. That was very cool. Mm-hmm. And you're also running the thing where you're uh, doing uh, Guilty Gear album covers. Also, you invited uh, me onto that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it's really cool seeing another community leader out here. And uh, also, I just think you're really cool. And I'm sorry I couldn't get you on for Auntie. <laughs> it's fine. I was... It's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> Next you up... already make it, Abby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Next up, a personal inspiration of mine, Celeste. Hi, Celeste! Oh, oh, hi. Uh, uh, my name is Celeste, or Waffles. Uh, I'm, I'm on Twitter a lot. Uh, I mostly just uh, post on there, but I also uh, I do streams where I pre- pretend to be a fox girl online, and I also am a uh, organizer for Bark FGC. Uh, it's a cute little nice. thing that I didn't think I'd get into, and I also made uh, one video <laughs> about Guilty yeah. Gear for I gotta a say- class project a long time ago. That's if you're cool. watching this, honestly, go pause this and go watch um, uh, Celeste's video on sociology and Guilty Gear. It was one of the things that pushed me to make this podcast. I thought it was a really, really good video. I w- I, I've been craving other people to talk about the Guilty Gear lore and just Gigi's themes in general. So it made me extremely happy to watch and to talk to you, too. So thank you so much for coming yeah, it's, on. It's, 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 a, it's a real pleasure to be on here. Uh, I, I remember... Uh, I really wanted to be on for Biken, but there's a lot of people who like Biken, so, yeah. you know, <laughs> this is fine, too. Mm-hmm. No, uh, this, honestly, it's been the hardest part of the podcast mm-hmm. is, like, getting everybody who likes characters on because it's, like, it's so difficult because so many of these characters are so cool. But, yeah, genuinely very, very happy mm-hmm. to finally have you on because I remember D was talking about your video for, like, probably a week after oh he watched it. And it was, it was so fun. No, good. you're oh going to make gosh. me embarrassed. Uh, Stop. I just, oh, you know, Celeste wow. deserves to have some respect for it on her. Uh, it was a fucking sick ass video. Uh, and last, last but not oh, least, yeah. oh sorry, what? Yeah. Oh, I was just gonna say uh, the reason I like Izuna, uh he's a very, very handsome man. Uh, true, so and, so true. And uh, <laughs> you know, uh, having uh, animal ears like that, it's kind of not a very like 
it's not a trait shared by a lot of male characters, so it's just very interesting for me. You know, you bring up a very true. interesting point with that, yeah. which I will be happy to elaborate after we get through some introductions. But um, he... yeah. Oh, I was going to say like um, also when it comes to, like the catboy designs, he's very different in that manner where he goes more towards like the masculine side of it. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, he, yeah, he's not, not like um. Oh, that's great. Like the generic catboy, he actually goes for like a uh, very different like design when it comes to catboys. Mm. So, mm -hmm. so that's cool. And last but not least, the creator of the Izuna Dust Loop, who I'm extremely happy to have on, who actually plays this game competitively, <laughs> or just even for fun, you know, just I'm very happy to have someone on that understands this game. Ari Louis. Ari Louis, fuck. Hi. Uh, yeah, Ari Louis, fine. Uh, mm -hmm. On Dust Loop, my name's Rohoho because I couldn't change it, and that used to be my old name. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been playing Guilty Gear 2, bought it all the way back when it came out on the 360. Uh, wow, what was, when was that? Like 2007? Yes. Ancient gamer. Uh, I still have my original copy around here somewhere. Uh, Jesus. But yeah, I was very excited for this game, and then it didn't do that great sales-wise. I was like, oh, alright, my sort of dream game sort of flopped. Ah, well. But mm -hmm. it's still fun, and it's honestly, fine. in the modern day, since I write in the Dust Loop and uh, a bunch of the other people in the community wrote a bunch of other guides, uh, we've seen a few people come in, uh, some people make some videos about Guilty Gear 2. A lot more people understand it now than back then. That's so, always beautiful, you know? Yeah. Uh, like, such as, like, the rollback patch when for Plus R and how that brought in an entire new community of people to play this old-ass game with and expand on the depth with these things. I think it's beautiful that as long as, like, a game can be played as long as there's a single other person to play it with you. Yeah. And I think it's really cool to have someone down that's actually, like, writing down the numbers, thinking up some guides, and, like, just still strategizing with this strategy game. It makes me really happy to know. Yeah, no, I especially wanted to... Too much credit respect. for the actual strategizing. <laughs> the Japanese scene was far more active back in the day. They wrote, really? They wrote a whole wiki for their stuff. And a oh, lot wow. of the best loop is me just looking wow. at what they wrote down and going, man, Google Translate is bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, even so, though, I definitely do want to pour a lot of respect on you for uh, what you've done with the dust loop, because I think a big part of making sure that there's like a thriving scene for any game, uh, especially one where it's like it's a little bit old, is making sure that that information is accessible to as many people as possible. Because I, I think like mm -hmm. yeah. the biggest challenge to getting into any fighting game or any game for that matter is just like, how do you start? Right. And mm -hmm. the thing that you do by contributing to a dust loop and like kind of putting that out there, I think is so essential, but so thankless, which is so fucked up. So I'm thanking you right now. God bless. Oh, uh -oh. I think, I think, uh, we're starting to get timeouts in the lobby. Uh -oh. No, 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 oh, no, no, hold on. no, no, it's not a timeout. I just hit ready. Uh oh, ready, Keith. Oh, I wasn't ready. Oh, yeah. Oops. I need it ready. Hold on. And with all that out of the way, are you guys ready to play some uh, motherfucking Guilty Gear 2 Overture easing the gameplay? Hell yeah. <laughs> easing the gaming. I hope this is not about to crash. It just made my Steam pop up. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Uh, I'm the not sure. I'm not sure how to start. Made your game crash. Oh, oh, oh. Oops. Is the game. Oh. Oops, that's my uh, uh -oh. Steam right. profile. Yeah, it made. It did the same thing to me, oh, too. It made my Steam it... profile come up. <laughs> yeah, if you click on someone else's name, it brings up their Steam profile. I guess they assumed you'd want to. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm really not sure how to. Uh, there we go. Oh, oh, there we go. Hell we yeah. did it. Oh, and you, and you actually picked a zoo state. <laughs> yeah, oh, this is smelly, this is his stage. This is where he lives. Name, I love the name Smelly Aura. He has that like fucking. He doesn't wear deodorant. He just like. <laughs> oh God, I forgot how to play. Oh God, he, he why just, does it? He just lets it. He just lets it. Oh, uh, he just yeah, lets it. That's a really out. good all for him. I love the red hair. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm to be honest. Oh, I like the art color in this game. It looks great. They did it, they knocked it out of the park on that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So interesting. I, I didn't even know this game had round intros. This is awesome. <laughs> There's even a few uh, line specific ones between characters. Like Kai and Sin will have a specific line between each other. Oh, that's cool. Oh shit! How do I run again? Oh shoot! Uh, oh, what, oh, what, 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 what am I doing? That's left uh, on the keypad. Oh, okay, I got it. Got it. Okay, so it's that, 
Got stats right. and attack. That's a fireball. That's cool. That's nice. Take a ghost. Take a wow. ghost. Who's on enemies? Wow. Uh, Good gear. So, uh... Uh, do you mind telling me, like, what what does Izuna do in this game? Is he I, he looks to me like he'd be like a mix-up kind of character, and I saw in the dust loop that he's not like the highest damage dealer, or and his units aren't the best. So, like, what is it that he does? Is it that he tricks people by like sending units that look bigger than they actually are, kind of so, like Buki style? Izuna, his fighting style personally is that he's mobile, so he can dodge twice where other characters can only dodge once. Uh, and if, we, if we're talking about his army, his army's just kind of bad uh, for the most part. I, I did read that I, in the dust loop, and I was like, oh, God. So that sort of makes Azuna the Dan Habiki of the game, where you're, you're mm. supposed to- He's a joke to... character? Oh, yeah, no. He's like Lil No! No! Uh, no! He's, he's That's another all that like, you take him and your enemy goes, oh, you're not going to be able to win with him. But then, if you know what you're doing with Azuna, you can do some annoying things that- if your opponent underestimates you, you will win. So yeah, basically mm. just Lo Wang. Like that is insane. Ow. I had no. It's you know, another. Uh, Lo Wang has the whole uh, animal thing going on too. I think, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's got the uh, cat he's... like. Oh. There's a certain species that has uh, like fox ears or cat ears or something like that. I think Lo Wang's a, a dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, sorry, I had no idea that when I was booting this up that, like, Izuna would be the joke character of this game. I just noticed he got knocked over. He was laying on his back with his foot up, too. He's, like, relaxing. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. uh, it's like Nagaryuki. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, and his backstory oh, is he was actually born in the backyard from, like, just sort of, like, human thoughts and concepts that sort of bled their way in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, like, I've... the story of his birth, like, the reason he wears a hairpin is because this old fishing lady tried to go out and, like, catch this big fish for her husband, and she wound up drowning. But as she was drowning, she made contact with the backyard, and all of her information sort of disappeared, and Azuna sort of picked that up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I... To keep her memory alive, he wears yeah. the hairpin. I, I really do appreciate so the... So he TF'd into that guy's wife, basically. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> That's the implication. <laughs> the TF implication. Uh, no, I, I really do actually like kind of how heartfelt that short story was. Um, and if anybody is hey, listening to this that hasn't checked it out yet. Don't! Stop. <laughs> I would, I would definitely opinions. suggest checking out the short story if you haven't, because like, I, I think it really speaks to the essence of Guilty Gear, and that's something that I wanted to touch on as we were going through this podcast, because I know Izuna is a pretty remote character, but it's interesting how even through a character like Izuna that you still get the fundamental essence of Guilty Gear that is kind of like the beauty of humanity and the importance of human emotions and human connection, because like, even though, you know, this woman sort of died in essence, the thing that persisted after she was gone was the fact that she really cared about something, you know, her love for her husband remained and it kind of coalesced through the backyard into Izna. Um, like the the way that the uh, short story describes this happening is simultaneously a little bit clinical but then also a little bit heartfelt right where it's like oh she uh, essentially completely vanished but Izna's retelling of the story when he's like explaining it to another yokai in his village is really heartfelt and cute and kind of quirky where it's like oh she was totally fine um, and it's like uh, because of an, an overwhelming yeah, amount died. of data in the backyard, because oh, she right. just loved her husband that much, uh, Izna was able to come into existence uh, from yes. the hairpin. I think that that's like oh, really, yeah. really cool. Because I, I think, isn't it actually the reason that she drowned at all was because she was trying to throw out yeah, some ceremonial she was doing swords? Something for him. I guess it's time. Yeah, it was, he was that... about to go, He was about to go off to war, and she did not want him to die. Um, so she yeah. gathered like all of his precious objects and all of his weapons to the same location with the intent to drown them. Um, and then she immediately drowned and died as well. Yeah, uh, it was. I... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was she just, got uh, she got sucked in. Mm -hmm. I guess it's time. It mixed up pulled into a whirlpool. Yeah, yeah. It, it was. It was so interesting hearing the uh, the short story too, and what uh, I don't think it was Daisuke that wrote it, but it was the guy that's writing the anime right now, um, and how oh. they write Izuna, where it's like he's playing around with the idea that this woman died, and like kind of saying like, oh, you know, she didn't die. Uh, oh, you know, this will be a happy story. Oh, she just completely disappeared. Yep. Uh, like he he's extremely a trickster, and you really get that off of his design that he's just someone that's very laid back. Mm -hmm. 
Well, uh, does his his character description say though that he's like not an easygoing person? I, I kind of like that interesting sort of paradox about him. Mm -hmm. Well, he's definitely the, the he's, he's most plot front. focused person in yeah. this game, so which is interesting considering that like he makes so many jokes. Mm -hmm. Ari, I think you had something to say. Say, uh, he sort of gets introduced so we can sort of explain like the magical systems and how all that stuff works to Soul. Because otherwise, you only have Paradigm for that. And he's yeah. also just sort of an excuse to, like, here's someone for you to talk it to in between Paradigm and uh, just, like, what Soul understands of him explaining it to uh, Sin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I find it yeah. really interesting that for future titles, they decided to keep, out of the two of them, they decided to keep Paradigm. And I think it's because Paradigm can obviously more relate to Soul as a gear and yeah. I guess provides that contrast compared to uh, Izuno. But it makes me sad that they really did put the hard line down and they said, yeah, we're keeping Paradigm, we don't want Izuna, which is... So yeah, it's not anymore. And like, mm -hmm. there's, I, that makes me really sad because like, I already said that like, uh, from like a character design standpoint, uh, there aren't a lot of characters like Izuna because it's you know, a very like feminine trait to have uh, animal ears like that mm -hmm. and like you know yeah like almost every like every like popular anime that gives that has a character like that just makes them a girl you never see it on a guy and that mm -hmm. you know it'd be really cool if they did make it or so you're saying that isn't as the male fan service we've been looking for you know yes <laughs> yes and before we strive on you got this is doing that that's amazing it's true, he was here first. It's when that come and it's when that come and start playing basketball. I was gonna say it's really interesting that for this uh, podcast episode that we have an Anji main and a Biken main and uh, Arlu, who do you who do you main in uh, uh, the other games or do you only play Overturn? Games I played them. Uh, I started with Guilty Gear XX way back in the day. Sharp Reload. Uh, I play Faust. Which, really? Yeah. <laughs> yes. And I can, I can see the parallels. Yeah, they're both goofballs, and they're both, in, whenever they're in the story, they're usually explaining a bunch of things, mm -hmm. and somehow mm -hmm. involved in stuff. Yeah, it, it's some- uh, oh! That's one of the yes. reasons they didn't bring Azuna forward, is his role was sort of already filled, and he was filling the shoes of the other characters that they couldn't put into the uh, Guilty Gear 2, when they didn't <laughs> have the rights. And the other reason, Azuna's a coward. Azuna does not like fighting. Mm -hmm. oh. He was only in one mission. My points! And only because Soul needed to save his energy up for a more important fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if Azuna can get away from a fight and not have to do it, uh, yeah. then he will do that. And he's the only character in this game with a 15 second long knockdown. So imagine that going into Guilty Gear. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Oh. He activates his super knock, he's like, alright, we're gonna sit here for 15 seconds. Knockdown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you mind telling me, like, what are uh, um, Izuna's, like, supers in this game? Like, what can he do at full tension? Oh, I've, yeah. I haven't been sending out my the kit, the cats, the friends. <laughs> I've only been sending out the kappas. Those guys. I've not been sending out any minions. I forgot the, the I, I forgot how to go into the menu. Uh, it's on the D-pad. Yeah. D-pad then you. X. It's weird. Oh, wait. No, I think I'm taunting. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Azuna's whole army is sort of based off of, uh... What's that thing in Japanese culture where an object gets possessed and then turns uh, into, like, a goblin? Uh, it's yokai, right? No, not yeah. yokai. Like, no, uh, yokai are, like, the legends type, of it. Like oh, the... yeah, so... I think it might just be, like, magical foci, like, the, they the already concept, get gear. The concept, I think, is just animism, Yeah, right? it's literally just... I think it is just the, the way it is in... I'm like, thinking like Sukagomi or something like that was the yeah, name. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, but that's essentially what it is. It's just like they were brought to life with backyard magic, and they mm -hmm. live in a pocket dimension between the backyard and reality. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and they're based off Japanese culture. I think at one point I heard a rumor he was supposed to be the guardian of Japan. Oh. If so, uh oh, I just completely failed that. Yeah, yeah, he didn't do yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was say it brings up an interesting angle where a lot of uh, Guilty Gear's characters have sins or and obviously guilt that they have. I think it would would have been a really interesting angle for Izuna if it was like, oh yeah, he's the protector of a nation that is completely gone. Like he is the protector of nothing. He's useless.
Dallas. And yeah. that kind of relates back to what his uh, um, his theme in this game, uh, where, uh, which translates to a lantern at noon, which is literally a useless action. It's it, it, uh, Shining a light in the noon means literally nothing. And I think it's just all a whole, like, play at the idea that Izuna is useless. And I, I kind of like that, like, hey, in a meta sense, he was, like... He is just there to facilitate other characters doing things. And I kind of like the idea of, like, useless characters in that kind of sense. I don't know if I'm uh, articulating it too well. Mm -hmm. But I like when a character knows their own role in the story and are just kind of, like, dealing with that. <laughs> uh, the word we were looking for, I believe, is Sukumogami. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, and I, I definitely agree with that, though. I, I really, um, I, I like the notion of still kind of giving respect and credit to uh, what is essentially a Dan Hibiki character, like you're saying, or like a, yeah. a Mr. Satan, where it's like, you know, this is someone who really fundamentally abhors fighting and is just sort of here for the ride and to exist and be happy and have fun. But I, I like that Daisuke still recognizes the value in that because it's, you know, like, it shouldn't be that someone's worth as a person or, like, uh, the worth of a culture is measured just by what they can do and what they can contribute. I think that's something that we've spoken about with a lot of other podcast episodes, right? Where it's like, your actualization shouldn't be judged by some kind of conceivable, like, I don't know, quantifiable metric, right? And it, it's a way of saying, like, Sure, Izna is this joke character who kind of doesn't take things seriously and doesn't have that country to protect anymore, but what he is and what he does still is significant, right? Like, he's still making an effort to preserve what he can of Japanese culture through his relationship with the yokai and telling stories. He still cares about them a lot, and he still matters enough to exist in the world of Guilty Gear and for other people to, you know, keep talking about, right? And to, like, yeah. have him on their minds. They mention him again in Exert, like, oh, we could use his teleportation ability to uh, come to Ariel. So, like, you know, he's he's still there, even if he's not someone who yeah. contributes to fights. Like, he matters in the sense that, like, he is a person, a representation of a culture, something that's rich, that is the culmination of people's feelings and thoughts and love, and I think that, that, that genuinely is really cool. Oh, wow. Goodness, this is, Izuna has a lot of units! I, I just saw the really, really big monster guy, that's insane, yeah. is that a gear, or...? I'm I'm seeing a fish. Wait, is that it's a, a fish friend? That, like, it's a friend. <laughs> it's a friend. It's a guy. Yeah, it's just a friend. A silly guy. I feel like I'm doing zero damage to his units too. Like I'm doing like 28 damage. <laughs> oh, uh, one thing about this game, you have to lock on to enemies to do any significant damage. <laughs> I don't know why they made like lock off attacks exist when they just do like one tenth the damage of normal attacks that are locked <laughs> on. It, it's really a beginner's trap. I, I guess it's... Might play this, like, Dynasty Warriors, and then they'll be like, why am I not doing damage? Yeah. Oh, that's a gear. Consider me Get a beginner away. trap, then. I, I wonder, from the, like, design perspective, if it's like, um, oh, we wanted to make uh, the player, like, forced into a dilemma where there's a trade-off between mobility and damage. But, yeah, it's, it's just, that's silly. I think part of it is just, they weren't sure what they were doing when they were developing the game. Because Soul has, like, a bunch of free combos where you're not locked on that there's not really much reason to use them, but they're mm. still on the character because they were probably there when yeah. they were developing it. Yeah, yeah. Go, my cat girl warriors. <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> you you guys are fucked. I bought an item. Oh. Overture really is just I... the go, my scarab game. <laughs> it is. Go, my scarab. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I did rapid fire and nothing came out. Go! Yeah, just... what, Circling what, what, back. What am I... I don't know I'm... <laughs> yeah, this is just this is baffling to watch right now. Why there's just a guy kind of hanging out beside you too. I kind of like that. <laughs> Sorry for any audio <laughs> listeners. It's just. Whoa! I really like. That's <laughs> Timothy. Uh oh. I just saw Ethan do like this really cool sliding attack thing. That was that was nice. Yeah, this is Smash Bros. Side B attack. <laughs> oh. Bro, I'm at 151 points. I am dying right now. Oh my god, yeah, oh, yeah. somebody help Geo! Kill Geo! <laughs> so, whoever sent out the freaking gear at my Master Ghost, I'm going to come to your house and steal your mountain. Oh yeah, really? Look at him. Not me, I'm not on Team White, I'm on Team Blue. That, that, alright. Whoever's on Team White. I'm at 68 points! I- I guess it's time! <laughs> so the only thing that that giant guy does, he doesn't attack masters, he doesn't attack soldiers, he just attacks your buildings. Like, mm -hmm. he knows. But he does a lot of damage. Oh. Yeah. But he's very slow, so it takes a very long time to get there. 
So, uh, Ari, I noticed that when I hold Y, like a little portal thing comes out. Is that for Izuna to teleport, or is that like a projectile attack? It's a homing projectile. It controls neutral for you. Mm -hmm. Aim it at your opponent, and it'll slowly go towards them. Uh... My I'm obsessed with the idea sick. of neutral in this, because I'm aware that this game, like, has burst, it has RCs, it has, like, attacks what? that you can do. It doesn't I... have RCs, it has modern cancel, because it's uh -oh. new, and it's the new wave that we oh. the new thing. <laughs> oh, wow. Modern oh, cancel, God. damn! Before modern controls, we had modern cancel. Oh, I got a, I got a <laughs> rare achievement, age. finish one match online. <laughs> Oh, oh no! 8% really? of players have this achievement. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the tragedy. Yeah, most people who buy this game will run through the story mode, they'll do a few exhibition matches, and that's pretty much it. Other than the dedicated community over on the west and the JP community, there aren't a whole lot of people that just dive into multiplayer. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is a game where, like, if you're doing 1v1s, you can get just like absolutely steamrolled from the beginning if you don't know yeah. what you're doing. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can yeah. imagine. Like, as long as you know like the optimal strat to get your minions to their ghost, I imagine. And if you can shut them out effectively, I can't see a way. I don't see there's like comeback mechanics in this game at all. So <laughs> there is, but they're not enough to stop uh, someone that's like better than their opponent. Mm -hmm. Is that why teams is the preferred way to play? Where it's like, okay, if one of my team members is failing, I can cover their spots with my own stuff, or. Yeah, that's generally it. Uh, that and it's just funner when you're like, oh, I'm getting my ass beat here, but maybe my friend will come by and help me or send mm -hmm. me to your friend's way. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the point match mode. This mode is like, it's free for all. It's great to get people used just to how to control the game. Because how to control this game is kind of wonky too. Like, you push that sprint button, and then you just run into a wall immediately and fly off and get knocked down. Yeah, you have to get used to, like, the drifting. I remember having to learn that in the story mode. Yeah. <laughs> if I had to explain what this game sort of looks like with when two players who, like, want to play the game or fight each other and have read up all the information, you're playing Crazy Taxi, where you run your units over all around the map and try to control as many nodes as you want. Because the more nodes you control, the more units you can summon. And the more <laughs> units you summon, the more nodes you control. And then eventually you just get a huge army, and now you're Jocko with a full screen. Against mm -hmm. the yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was going to say, I almost wonder if part of uh, the reason Jacko is the way she is in uh, Exert is just because they wanted to try to find a way to remain true to the style of gameplay. Well, yeah, yeah. So, she actually is explicitly, yeah. She, yeah. She, that's why she summons minions. Mm -hmm. why she gets yeah. Go animals. my cat girl <laughs> army. <laughs> Go my scarab. <laughs> that is also why she uses tension for her special moves mm -hmm. in Exert. Uh, but yeah, and then the rest of it is you're sort of speed running your opponent's army when their uh, enemy master is not there, which is sort of similar to playing like Streets of Rage and speed running it, just mm -hmm. looking for the fastest combos. Uh, and then the one v one is like an arena fighter. Stop! Uh, Get away from me! Yeah, so you've already combined <laughs> Get away from me. Race in, in this one thing. I don't. Mm -hmm. It's a big ass. Yeah. No, I, 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 Taxi, Streets of Rage, and then like a Guilty Gear Arena Fighter is yeah. what this game built, breaks up into. Mm -hmm. I'm curious, though, when do you go for Master versus Master, like, when do I want to hit the other guy? I noticed when I was watching gameplay of other Overture matches on YouTube, which, by the way, you should check them out, that people are still pl actively playing this game. Yeah, um, I, I gave that, them like, a Mm -hmm. What ended up happening was like people would spawn in, they'd go to their menus, they would summon minions, they would like do a whole plan of attack where it's like, okay, I'm going to this node, this node, this tower. I, I don't time. remember when they had master versus master stuff. Is it just like, okay, we're both going for a center tower here, we're gonna end up fighting? Or, cause I don't, I don't remember seeing a lot of kills, but maybe that was just the gameplay I was watching. It, it does depend on the player, uh, like when they do want to fight, and some matchups are, uh, are going to seek out fights more than others. Like, Kai always wants to seek out the enemy and fight them. Mm -hmm. He's a very good 1v1 duelist. Uh, Azuna is sort of versatile, so he can just sort of do whatever he wants, and he's probably good as long as the enemy isn't killing your army. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, usually you want to fight in a situation where you have an advantage, so do you have troops around that are fighting with you? Mm -hmm. uh, and you outnumber your opponent. Do you have a ghost controlled nearby? Because those give you a defense bonus. And that defense bonus is important because if you don't have that, you're, you basically get too much I, in this game. I did nothing to you. 
<laughs> you sick son of a bitch! Come back here! I did nothing to you. That's. Hey! Get away from me. Um, get away from me. I'm seeing you like run towards me. I'm like. I like my eye on you. I'm not even there. I ran away. You know what? You know. It's it's also oh, partially a horror game because yeah. you have to see he's gonna run at you <laughs> very quickly with the intent of murdering. But um, no, I, yeah, I, I really do like that. I think that 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 does ring true with my own experience from like MOBAs and RTSs as, as well, where it's like it makes sense that there are some heroes who are more about the dueling aspect of the game, and then there are more heroes who are more kind of about the control or like macro aspect of the game, right? You know, you yeah. have your to make a league analogy, you have your Fioras who want to be fighting all the time, and then you have your Yorks who want to be split pushing all the time. Gee, are you insane? Is... Fiora is an incredible split pusher because she can duel. Well, she's an incredible everything, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was, uh, so who is like a, a really adequate like split pusher in this game? Uh, like you said, Kai is really good for one-on-one -on -one, uh, things. Who has like the best units that are really good for taking things down? If I had to guess, it would probably be Paradigm, right? Because he screams like the most zoner-ish to me, or most. So, like... I guess it's time. Paradigm and Valentine both have really good armies for just sending it out and getting an early advantage. Kai has a very good late game army in Sindu mm. too. Uh, so like Kai's good at 1v1, but everywhere else that Kai's not on the map, he has to rely on his strong troops. Mm -hmm. uh, but they're expensive. Whereas Paradigm's troops are really cheap and so are Valentine's. Ah. And Valentine's are like the word glass cannons. Uh, mm -hmm. They have a poison effect. So like they will lose fights, but they will kill enemies. Mm -hmm. And they will get like, it'll be cheaper for them to kill the enemy than other armies. Yeah. <laughs> In your experience, uh, who would you say are like, I don't know if this game has a really established meta, but does, like what- uh, Paradigm and Soul are- Oh yeah. Soul. And then next to them are Sin and Kai and Valentine. Huh. And then the team is at the bottom. Oh, poor oh, wow. <laughs> And Raven is up there a little bit above Azuna, uh, but not quite as good as a like Valentine. Aww. I heard that like Raven's Raven was DLC deaded. for this game. I can't believe this game even had really? DLC. Yeah, it's sort of, the DLC for this game was sort of, we didn't have time to finish this in development, but we wanted to put this in the game, so we did that. Mm -hmm. And you didn't have to pay for it. It was free DLC. Oh. Oh, okay. That's better then. I just saw one of you run past me. And I just got jump scared. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I... I so what, what the guy... Uh, but yeah. if he wants to fight 1v1, all of his good stuff costs tension. Mm -hmm. And if he wants to clear a crowd, all of his good stuff costs tension. Mm-hmm. So, if you're trying to always do things the fastest with him, then you wind up having to go back or spend money on pension potions, and that's mm -hmm. where it winds up costing him. Yeah. Can you just like, get your cat has... girls to stop? <laughs> he has something that's Ew. like the equivalent of Dragon Ball Z Super Dash. He has a homing projectile, so he has a lot of ways to cheat in neutral. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you, if, if you can't win a fight, then you can maybe get a hit and do your really long knockdown and just run away. Mm -hmm. So they, they gave him a lot of really frustrating tools to play against, but then to counterbalance that just made him like really inefficient, and so he's just sort of bad, is the vibe I'm getting. Really his army that's the worst, because mm -hmm. uh, his units are expensive, uh, his, his like little turtle guys that you guys are summoning, those guys have a counter, but the counter is super armor, which means mm. that if you plan your attacks for you're not knocking them down, you can just, like, one combo kill them. Ah. Uh, and that's terrible for your basic units. Yeah. So, like, they just kind of hurt him in his consistency to make up for the fact that, you know, he has potential to be really annoying to play against. Yes, but against someone that really knows what they're doing... You're fighting an uphill battle. Yeah, yeah, like the tricks are not gonna work. The the thing that he was like essentially mm -hmm. built on. Yeah, that makes That's sense. Unfortunate. But I, I don't know. I guess appropriate for a character that uh -oh. that is supposed to be like the nine tailed fox, right? Because uh, the other aspect of the backstory that I wanted to hit on, right, is that um. The husband was specifically contracted out as like a, a Shinto priest to go uh, seal the killing stones okay. with specific blades, right? And I know that those are associated with the Ninetail Fox, or am I getting that wrong? I didn't maybe? know that. That's cool. Yeah, and I, I was assuming that that is the reason that Izna is specifically a fox or a fox yokai. Interesting. I, think, you I think it was just because foxes are very trickstery, but like, I, it's cool knowing there's an actual cultural connection there. There's some more when I was, reason. When I was reading the uh, short story, I was surprised by the sheer quantity of like extremely niche cultural 
stuff they connected with uh, Izuna that I was like, okay, I am not a Japanese audience. I'm not gonna fully understand this. It's a, like, they could be talking about like Santa Claus. That's like that's <laughs> the extent of it. Well, I, I think it's very cool for Guilty Gear, uh, a series which I think for a lot of people, when they think of it, it is pretty Western with regards to its influences to have a character that is so unrepentantly tied to yeah. Japanese culture, history, and mythology. Because, yeah, no, I, I'm looking it up too. Yeah, the Killing Stones are specifically associated with uh, Tamamo no Mai, uh, the Nine-Tailed Fox from Japanese mythology. And they are the Killing Stones because the sheer, like, power from uh, the corpse is enough to, like, kill a person if they come in contact with it. Mm -hmm. Which is why uh, the wife is trying to get rid of the implements for the husband to go destroy the killings. I... I'm at four points uh -oh. right now. I think I may be bad this game. Being at four points while everyone's making a hard time. Okay. <laughs> I just remember that I was supposed to summon my own unit, so... My ghost is under attack! No! I, I Our wake base up and think, is under oh fucking my... attack. <laughs> oh my it's Isna. Yeah. He, he, he's no, like, crossing his own pits. Two yeah, Isna's huge naturals. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting back from that. Sorry. Jay, I told you to remind me and you forgot to remind me. I wanted to say at the start of this video that um thank you so much to Soul Rad Guy who I've commissioned for the art in that thumbnail thing that you saw. Um I wanted to make sure that I usually for these videos I use like the Strive chibi art or like whatever game's chibi art of the characters, but Isna does not have that cuz he's an overture character. So I had uh, it commissioned a little chibi of uh Isna and I really like it a lot. So thank you and you guys should go commission him too because he's an incredible artist and he's the one that translated the short story for Izuna so you check that out on his archive yeah I was trying to find an organic way to bring it up but no I think good to mention here Soul Rad guy just fucking ah, ass. I, I'm so glad that he's yeah. in this community <laughs> like genuinely one of the coolest people in Guilty Gear these days I'm so like yeah you shut up I find it really difficult to target the nose it, it wants to target to other champions really badly on and push uh, up, then it'll uh, target between the ghosts and the champions. Mm. Awesome, thank you. Oh, no problem. Yeah, the controls I'll take protect some... my base, my scarabs. <laughs> oh! I guess it's time. Oops. Um, so we kind of lampshaded it implicitly throughout the conversation that we have had thus far, but I figured it would be good to sort of address oh, no. it more directly. Um, but what what really about uh, Izna makes him such a, a favorite character for you all? If you guys wanted to go down the line, I guess starting with Ari, why Izna? So my other mains should sort of highlight, like, or should sort of reveal this. Faust and Lorraine. I like my joke characters, uh, <laughs> my goofy boys, and Izuna squarely fits into that camp for me. Uh, it, it can also feel good when you beat someone with a character that is objectively worse, where it's like, I, that's how much of a skill gap I have, you know? <laughs> yeah, at the same time, like, if you're trying to introduce someone new to the game, it's sort of a way of, like, going a little easy on them so yeah. that you don't just, like, give them a bad experience. Yeah, you know what? yeah. That's, that's the Sean mentality. That's exactly how Sean and Third Strike was designed. Mm -hmm. And the tools so that, like, Izuna gets are fun to play around with, even if they're not the best. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, I went to the wrong like, node. All my units went to a different node. But uh -oh. turning invisible is kind of useless, because there's a green arrow over your head. I didn't even think about that yet! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe they could nearly miss if they forget that you can lock on in the game. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's good at making people lock off of you, but that's about it. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, maybe, if he ever gets to the strive, maybe he'll like get that, he'll inherit Shift's like, visibility thing. Hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think there's a lot that he could kind of potentially share with other characters. Like, he could have the minion mechanic sort of like how Jacko does, yeah. or like you were saying, like the invisibility mechanic like how Shift had. Just a character with a lot of potential, very mutable in that way. Yeah, and um, his base set, he has a homing dash, and he has a homing projectile, and mm -hmm. those would both work pretty well. Yeah, you already mentioned the yeah, yeah. fighters comparison, and that is another Arxis game, so I don't think it's out of the question for them to port that kind of uh, mobility into Strive, just for, like, the fuck of it. Yeah. Isn't it interesting that um, they had the survey back in Exert Revelator about what character do you want the most, and Izuna was on it, and Izuna did get a fair amount of votes, like, more than ABBA. People wanted Izuna more than ABBA, and ABBA got into Strive. That's insane. Kind mm. of a weird reality if we got Izuna and not ABBA. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 
be honest, what? I am glad we got Abba though. Like, I really yeah. like Abba. Yeah. 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 One of the well, now we, we got now that Izu knows that Izu top bill for me. Mm -hmm. I got no other yeah. characters I want in the game. I could imagine yeah, Izu and Viking shooting each other being kind of awkward. Mm, yeah, yeah. Talk yeah. about that. Um, that they mentioned in a dev vlog because people were like, guys, you uh, were sending requests like, hey, please. Uh, you, uh, don't add- sorry, can Elephant still make it in, even though Happy Chaos is in the game, which is crazy, because they have completely different game plans, but they both use guns. And Arxis themselves brought up the fact that, hey, we have multiple samurai characters in our games. We have Biken, we have Nagoriyuki, we have Johnny, and none of that prevents them from getting in, because they have different play styles with that. And I imagine if Izuna got in, like, despite him being another samurai, and even not even just being another samurai, but another trick weapon samurai, like I think he would still be fine in the game. I can definitely see him as a trap, as a, like a trap mix-up character thing. But I, I think kind of like how um, uh, Ari was highlighting with uh, the connections between uh, Isna and Fausta a little while too. I, I do hope that they preserve some degree of like depth and uh, I don't know like. Uh, deeper personality to the kid as well because I, the other connecting thread I was seeing with your mains there is like, you know, even though they are the, the fun, goofy characters, they also uh, harbor a deep, indescribable sadness, like how I like to mention all the time on so many podcasts. <laughs> yes. episodes, but it's like, I think that that's really apparent with characters like uh, Izna and Fast, where it's very easy for people to sort of brush them off as exclusively like kind of goofy joke guys, but there is really so much more going on on mm -hmm. the surface if you bother to look for yeah. longer. And I, I think that's like the amazing and really fun thing about them is that they have that unique dual appeal. Holy shit, um, was it your minion that froze me in place or was that you? That was the minion. Uh, she can freeze people and also this fun little Dharma guy freezes people too. You have heightened defense when you're frozen, so it's not like you're using it for combos, but it's really annoying when you get frozen. <laughs> I can imagine, like, interrupts you completely. To that long Why are you party? still gaining points? Mm. What? Huh? <laughs> I am just like Mario Party. It's like Mario Party, where it just gives game. you points for, like, you killed the most people, you picked up the most stars. Like that. Yeah, you got the bonus stars. You're the most specialist Star. boy. Oh, wow. I literally nice ended with eyes. zero points. I should, like... I'm bad. You, you gotta start laughing, Overture. <laughs> I gotta start laughing, Overture. Yeah. We go in evening now. I've seen the combos people can pull off in the training mode of this game. I, I like there is labbing to this, which is really mm. fun. Like yeah, there are no. dust loop yeah. combos. Both and Valentine have something that's pretty similar to a dust loop. Uh, mm. We're doing his ground oh, that's launcher, sick. and he just does the ground launcher over and over. And Valentine does a jumping like basically just jumping dust over and over again. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. I'm wondering, are there like specific wall combos in this kind of game where it's like, oh, if you get him against a wall, you can get like an infinite? Technically, but they're so incredibly impractical. Oh, but yeah. I would love to see Overture dust loops, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that would be so fucking funny. Yeah, there's Just a wall another. bounce, but like, it's so hard to get your opponent facing a wall. And mm -hmm. then you gotta also like, there's not even terrain all the time, so sometimes if you're on a ramp, your combo will mess up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh god. Stuff right there. Yeah. I guess I'm just not cut out Elevation. Maybe now would be a good time to talk about uh, Izuna's design in more depth, but I really like the leather jacket thing he's got going on over his shoulders. Mm -hmm. When you look at his, like, promo art, it kind of reminds me of, like, Asuka's jacket a little bit, like that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Overture has a big love of adding as many belts and like decals as possible, and like it leads to really cool designs such as like Soul's design. I think Soul's design mm -hmm. in Overture is the oh best he's I... ever had, so and uh, I, I can see a lot of that carrying over Ring? to uh, Izuno. Bring back his pants. I love those pants. Those yeah, guys. no. Mm -hmm. Very sick. It's like uh, Kai's pants and his um, Scribe Pasta oh Dart, where they're like stinks. really big Ragma pants. Yes, yes. I, Kai would so show me his fucking weird ass calves. I don't want to see that. Give him, yeah. You don't give like him, his horse hooves? <laughs> give him um, Jinkos. Give him Jinkos. Yeah, Jinkos. Like give, him, give him some yeah. Jinkos. Make give him Jinkos. Him. Yeah, yeah, give Kai Jinkos. Just, oh, just yeah. have him sing like Fred Durst songs or, or ICP. <laughs> I, I think this could be a real vision here. Oh my god, I'm really um, understanding oh, the yeah. game now. I didn't realize my nodes gave me mana. I'm or understanding. Like, 
Or like make him a mall goth and give him trip pants. I feel like there's there's a lot of potential with <laughs> so, that. And it's definitely yeah, within Guilty Gear's wheelhouse. Let's like have Kai retire from being a king as is being stated in the lore. I'm pretty sure. I'm kind of mm. stupid, but make just make him so he retires as a king from like being a king and becomes a mall goth. Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm 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 more than right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is a lot me. Yeah. It's okay, we're gonna get through it! This is the backyard's we're interference! Gonna... Oh, there's an information <laughs> overload! <laughs> Happy oh, Chaos no. is fucked with the game right No. An imaginary flare. Oh, there Are there too go. many minions on screen or something? Sometimes if the game runs for a long time, it just starts to... It just does that. Get oh god. Oh so goodness. The solution to that is just for everyone to restart the game, but... Mm -hmm. Oh my god, is it like a memory leak, so leak problem? I think so. Wow. Think so. Wow. <laughs> And oh. sometimes, like, instead of lag, you will get all the floors and walls so disappear, busy. and you're in a great void. <laughs> you actually go to the backyard! Wow! Yeah. It really well, you, you know what? We've been inside the cube this entire time. I can't believe it. That's great. He's just foxing out right now, guys. It's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a part of everyone's childhood. An, an important part of life. Read a book sometime. It's like the uh, um, Inside Out meme. With the, yeah. The yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Part of I'm so busy. Growing up. Easing out. I gotta, I gotta, Easing I gotta make out. that. Yeah. I gotta, I got, I got, I already got like a fucking one for Ran Yakimo. I'll make one for Izuna. Oh my god, you did one for Ran Yakimo? Fuck yeah. I, did, I didn't, I didn't make it. I just found it. Oh, uh, I was gonna start talking about how Toby's favorite to character get, is Ran Yakimo. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. <laughs> <laughs> These threats. Me when I fucking get you. <laughs> just me when I get you. you. I'm, I'm just what I'm just not what I'm just not what you. Um, I was gonna say I, I really want to see I, Izuna and Strive, if only because if Soul is getting married soon and like Kai and Dizzy, I kind of want to see like Izuna be not the priest, okay, but imagine, like okay. He's there. Like, imagine Izuna there. in like the um here you fit. Like, mm. going to the wedding, I can fucking kill you, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and everyone's like, dude, you're fit as shit. And he's like, nah, it's the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, what are you talking about? In, in my country, that doesn't... What are you talking about? This, this, is, this, this is, is amazing. This is my best clothes. These are my <laughs> best outfit attire. And it's, like, not shirtless for once. And that's why it's, yeah. like, his best clothing. He's wearing yeah. actual shirt. Yeah. Please stop. I am... I am doing nothing to you right now. I, <laughs> leave me alone. Leave this, this... me alone. I don't want to do anything. Alright, fine, fine, fine. I was gonna say, this this game is you making geo religious. trying to stab me like a British man. I don't, <laughs> I don't the... appreciate the uh, cool, British my, my backup's here. Plays. Guys, I just realized yeah, that, like... Here. So okay, Axel's whole thing is transporting into the backyard and transporting like all over time. So Do you think he's ever bumped yeah. into the backyard scene? He's and I've been like, holy, what the hell is that? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> just went on about his day. Jay, this, this will be a reference. This will be a reference for you, but you know when Unite Synchronization, when Dirk and Mina do the high five? I was gonna say, yeah, they just pass by like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that guy's chill. Yeah. Like, you think Isa is just out there smoking in the void, like, if, hey, if, what's anybody, good? if anybody would be doing that, it would absolutely be Izna. <laughs> Izna is just a chill ass. He really is just a chill ass cool dude. On the subject of that too, uh, while I had a moment, Celeste, would you mind telling us? I know you talked about it a little bit already, but why Izna? What about Izna specifically makes him such a compelling character to you? You know, I, you know, there's like. There are like funny moments in Guilty Gear, but there's like not really a dedicated like character who like makes jokes and stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. So like that really like kind of stood out to me a lot. And uh, you know, obviously, Fox Boy. There's not a lot of those. specifically Fox Boys. Mm -hmm. I think. No, true. Because because like you know, ev like everyone wants to be like every like depiction of Tamala and Ame and shit's like a uh, it's like a girl. Yeah. And, like uh. He can, he, like, the story implies that he does, like, turn into the guy's wife, so, mm -hmm. like, he can do that, but, like, he, he's male-presenting, he's a very handsome guy, he's not, like, so uh, a feminine the way Anji is, and mm -hmm. I just think that's, like... You just made he, me realize, a, if the if the guy's wife turned into Izuna, does that make Izuna, so like, our, our first canon trans man? Perhaps. Holy shit, I mm -hmm. Holy shit. So <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> you know... 
We take those. We take those. We take those. Mm -hmm. Diversity win this gay cat <laughs> Please, it'd be funny. And, uh, <laughs> that kid's gonna canonize it. He's gonna game drive. Watch. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, like. I learned off of the uh, JP wiki. You know the cat girls that are that you can summon? Yeah, the Nekumaras, I believe? Yeah. Yep. The max size your army That's can so be in this crazy. game is 20 units. They are exactly like. I don't know what the word for it, but like they're twins. Like they're 20 of them and they're just all sisters. Uh, I, <laughs> I like that there's like little unit so lore. Crazy. Like between that and like uh, little things like all of like um, Valentine's Lolita units and like a, mm -hmm. a Paradigm referring to his units as like his family. It's cute that they like. The tr they, yeah, they, they tried to do things with the tribes. I, I think it's nice. The mm. fact that like Kai's units in this game end up being things in the lore later on, like. They, they, you get to see them in actual Guilty Gear, like, uh, Exert, and they are, uh, like, a plot point in Exert, which is yeah. kind of fun. I'll just it's... say, when I first booted up Strive Story Mode, I was like, Man, Kai, you can do better than that. Like, three <laughs> basic troops, like, <laughs> that, that, That's not gonna stop anyone. It's Even... so funny that Ariel's is like, we have hired these, we have created these Opus units, and put them all around the world, and they are the top class gear killers. There is nothing stronger than this. And it's just oh, like hey, you know. basic units in this game. They are like literally nothing. <laughs> Even Kai has been slacking on laving overture. Unbelievable. <laughs> but yeah, no, Celeste, <laughs> uh, uh, did you have a little bit more to say uh, um, about why you like Eden? I think like just like in general, like, uh, you know, uh, the way like, uh, especially in like American media, a lot of like mysticism and shit is kind of like delegated to like uh female characters yeah or like you know you'd never really see like a mystical male character that's like mm -hmm. handsome and shit you know yeah yeah and like just that kind of stuck out to me mm -hmm. no i completely agree i i think a, a big part of dismantling like um misogyny and uh orientalism is is kind of showing that like you know people exist in a mm -hmm. vast multitude of sort of performances and, and modes of presentation. And I completely agree. I, I really didn't stick out to me until you mentioned it, but Isna is very, very unique in that regard because I think the only other character I can think of even remotely like him is just like Yusuke from Persona 5, which... Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. They also, uh, uh, Yusuke also has the Kabuki thing going on. Or, yeah. or just like the comparisons with the fox. Um, but... Yeah, no, I, it, it is very, very interesting, and I think something that does warrant a lot of praise, uh, both with uh, Dice Gay and I think just, you know, the way the the team was able to create this really fun, cool guy. Because Holy you also shit, mentioned the orb. him being, like, chill and affable as a standout point. And it's definitely true. Like, Guilty Gear is a heartful and, I would say, like, fundamentally, like, kind and loving franchise right but i, I think isna really is so unique for the kind of tone he brings to the game as like a very jokey sort of almost 2000s anime feeling kind of character yeah right where it's like he he especially, feels like especially because his voice like it's just yes very like 2000s anime yes yeah, yeah. i wanted well, to he, bring up his voice he's, that he's, he's voiced kakashi. by kakashi yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. he's kakashi and kefka in the yeah. decidia games mm -hmm. okay um, I remember watching a video from, um, about, like, Overture or something like that. I forget what it was called, but yeah. I remember one of the things that originally got me into liking That's Yuzuno so is how he said, yup. Yeah, yeah, no! The way he says it is, like, God, it's so satisfying. I, I, no, I like, hadn't, re I hadn't yep. realized this was a gimmick until I was reading the wiki for this and, and went back and saw, but in, apparently in Japanese, Zuna's, Zuna's whole gimmick is that he constantly switches up his accent to different districts of, uh, of, of Japan. Japan. Like, oh, yeah. he'll speak like the, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Osaka in the accent, he'll, uh, like, he, he switches up Kansai, yeah. And then, like, how they translate, or how they adapt that so is, like, crazy. They just make them all over the place like a Jim Carrey type, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah just I, doing I all these weird impressions. I hadn't realized it on my first playthrough of Overture years ago, but I, I when I replayed it for this vi for this video, I was like, oh my god, he switches randomly from like a Scottish accent to like Irish to like he has like a street accent, which I don't know how they allowed that like how that cut through. <laughs> but this was like early voice acting. 
Or um, like the Elvis impression that he just randomly does when they see Kai, like, the king is alright. He also, <laughs> the voice actor also has a really, really big love. I, I can really easily tell that they didn't really care how this game was going to get voiced, as long as you did something. So every time yeah. Izanet does a voice act, he's like, yup. He just does that yep. constantly. He's like, yep. He loves popping yep. his peas. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think it's- I love that. It is, yeah. It adds a lot. Yeah. yeah, no, genuinely to your point, Gio, I think like it helps to show that like through every aspect of this character, it, it's just defined by people having a good time and enjoying themselves, and it it's infectious. Like it really does kind of make you fall in love with Ethan because it's like, oh, he's so personal yeah. and like fun and cute. He's so like chill. Like yeah. he feels like he's like chilling with him. Like, yeah, yeah, no, like more than any other Guilty Gear character, it's like, oh my god, I I, I have to smoke with him. <laughs> I <laughs> so, like yeah. So chill. Um, <laughs> but um yeah no i i really do uh, appreciate that like in regards to his character partially being about preserving japanese culture in like a world that is essentially without japan that that also is just like represented in a fun way through him switching through all the different dialects mm -hmm, um and, and it'd the, be the... really interesting to see him interact with characters that care about that same thing such as anji and biken and Chip. yes yeah. oh yeah <laughs> I think there is a place for him in the Chip Kingdom. Mm -hmm. No, one hundred percent. We want you. Mm -hmm. We yeah, want you in the Chip. Put it on the lap of the Kami, please. Mm -hmm. If nothing, at least put him there. Yeah. In the background somewhere. So mm -hmm. Yeah. I genuinely, I love that. Um, but we're kind of touching on it with this. Uh, I don't know if you would also like to take this opportunity, Geo, to sort of explain why Isna specifically for you is such a great character. Like, what do you love? I think I kind of already explained it. He's just a really chill, goofy guy that I really don't see. Like, I can't really think of another character that's like Azuna and Guilty Gear, where he mm -hmm. is like, he's very just, he's just a guy. Yeah. He's just chill. Mm-hmm. Oh god, and the not game like is Axel, where going Axel's to a chug. Kind of like extremely like and Axel's very um like optimistic all the time, very like happy. He's just kind of like a chill uncle yeah. who would lay down, who would just lay on the couch all day and just give you your first beer. That's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, like, <laughs> that's a really good way to describe it. Yeah. He, yeah, that's how it gets described. He like offers fucking guys to get like a beer and just like talks about how you should be a fucking top tier, how you should have I had a chaos, um, head game or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna talk about how you should have, um, like in Zagari, but like actually let him RC. And let him oh, be fuck like, it. RC able reversal in the game, so like that. Or like, honestly. He deserves it. Even if they did just want to incorporate him as an actual, like, you know, Dan Hibiki type character where he was kind of like a shitty joke character who was just there to, like, chill and have fun. I I really think that that wouldn't be a disservice to the character. I think that's really within the spirit of the game and it could be kind of cute. Yeah, it would. Like, I, Wait. I don't know, maybe if they want to, if they, if they could do it well, add another character some randomness that's not, like, a zoner. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, I remember how Dan was. I remember Dan, um, in Street Fighter Five, and how he was nerfed. The but Dan was like the Red Fireball. Yeah, the Red Fireball. And it's like, oh, so they could do some. If you talk, if you talk about making like a Dan Hibiki car cat character, and they add like some redness, maybe like I don't know. I think it would be yeah, really just... cool if um, Izuna had a gimmick where he could. For one of his specials, if he was like a clone character, where it's like, oh, he can clone a special from the anime, mm, and like, cause his whole thing, yeah, not twelve like entirely, cause clone characters are oh. not good, but like, yeah, Kirby would be a good example. Yeah, Kirby. Oh, 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 oh. All right. <laughs> the, with so Overture, the fun today. sometimes ends. It's not that it never ends; it does end. Uh, it ends it. sometimes. Oh, I think my game's just bugged now. Oh god. Uh -oh. Here, let's uh -oh. just let's the restart. Curse. Uh do We're like one team match maybe and then we can maybe close this out. <laughs> yeah, I um, don't know. Uh go to strive and everyone has to use like color ten. Wait no, color <laughs> ten does not look great. What what color would have a lot of white and a lot of red? That's like consistent between every character. Mm, Hold on. I don't know. Yeah, I think we might need to start uh going to the idea like like Gio saying of just playing strive and pretending. <laughs> Just try for ten and as soon as in the game. Everyone has to like play peace from like yeah, we, or, um... uh when when in post just just fucking like shittily like he and uh Zuna moving around. You know, mm -hmm. I'll do a Zuna fish right here. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, a Zuna fish, let's go. 
Yeah, I, I should bring that up. That Izuna was a character in the Pachinko game, and he does have animation. You know, that's more than you can say for, like, fish. ABBA, I guess. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you know that's what? Fish. Yeah. Take, take, take that hoss. You know, Izuna has a little more than you. Also, um, we're talking about Izuna being a strive earlier. Like, what do you get? What do you get his ideas on like him getting into strive? Like, what do you think they'll do with him? You know, I don't really know. I just want him in the game because he's cool yeah. and I love him and mm -hmm. sex. I, <laughs> I don't think there needs to be a better justification than that. I, I want to see like okay. a true trap-based character because Testament does not have that anymore, and for good yeah. reason because Testament is is yeah. one of the a war crime. top three in in plus R. But I really want to see what that. a trap-based character could look like in this game. And I want to see, like, how they differentiate from Chip, Biken, Nago, all these different kinds of things. I think there's mm -hmm. a lot you can do, like, especially, like, the invisibility, um, mm -hmm. just general kooky stuff. An idea I had is maybe they could carry over Biken's, um curses. I forget what they're called, but, like, the Biken, Biken spells and, like, XX uh, and stuff like that, where she yeah, like, would, put, like... Yeah, where she had put like effects on yours like that. They could do that with them. Be a good way of reworking his really Something long Something like knockout. a. They probably mm -hmm. shouldn't keep that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but but what something do you like. Think, what do you think Izuna's like bullshit mechanic would be in Strive? Uh, I think Celeste. Android twenty one. Yeah. Copy. He is mm. going. It would be funny if they gave him a. Yeah. No, I think that would be yeah. very funny. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be very funny to get just to like, give him Vikings old like back to Give him Suzerain. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think old Viking mains would be so pissed off at you for that. Man, I I'd cry. Now you don't you don't get to play your cool badass samurai lady anymore. Now you have to play this cat boy. Fuck you. <laughs> I'd I, I would I would cry. It's just I would cry tears of joy. <laughs> I really like um, Izuna's like body paint tattoos. I, I think they look like blood. I like them a lot. I don't have right. anything oh, yeah, remarkable so... to say about them other than like that's cool. It's I think it's probably the He's same cool. thing that is on a uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. Or, or what does yeah. that say? Where it's like um... it's, uh, it's made meant... to look like Kabuki masks. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. it's meant to. Yeah, Kabuki, yeah. Not there for, for me. Mm -hmm. as far uh, as the. Like... I was just gonna say, as far as like adapting his move set, they get really creative and strive reinventing people. Like you look yeah. at Sin, and they just sort of like completely redefined him. And, I you know, when, when I get to the Sin episode, them. I'm gonna have so much to say about that because I I think Sin in Strive is a completely different character than what he was in in Exo, oh, where it's like yeah. you know overpowered special canceling guy with a, 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 a tied down by eat mechanic and like. His beak driver being like meta defining for that game, or neutral defining, I guess, and then just him being deep, <laughs> Mr. DP Man in, in uh, Strive. Not that he's not DP Man in Exert too, but I don't know. It, it, he's a he's a different kind of rushdown. Yeah. Uh, is... Room's open, by the way. Oh, yeah. it is. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, Striver is also a staple of all uh, his combos. Uh, in this password game. is fish. I, I carried over from this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Know what that means? Fish. Fish. Oh, can I change my like palette, or is it random? Yeah, you can. How do I change that? Uh, select the the color. Where, I can be. The, where's the color? Where the where it says one play, player, two players. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, I'm gonna green. Last time. Green. Awesome. Green. Green means he's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Blue means nice to meet you. Wow, well, that's say like Underworld Hill Rain? Like, is there actually like a rain effect in this game? Yeah. Yes. Is it gonna crash the game? No. <laughs> Only one way to find out. Oh, boy. <laughs> Only one way to find out. This Sunday night! This, this pay-per-view overture. <laughs> Dude, you know what? I just realized I'm so stupid. Why don't they give Izuna the Izuna drop? Give him like a full mm, uh, Yeah, yeah. Not yeah, to I... take more things from Answer, but you know, the Johnny already took card. We can take I... a Zuna drop. I don't. I kind of 
fuck with the yeah, idea but... of Isna being sort of like a Frankenstein of a bunch of other cut characters or like different kit elements that didn't persist in his drive. I think that would be a really fun way to do that. Oh my god. Wait. Yeah. You know what you they gotta do? Answer. Yeah. Oh, I was about to say, they have answer in like a basement, like just like chained up, just like you're slowly <laughs> taking his moveset and giving it to other characters. Like, you're not getting in strive. You have other characters you're gonna put in this game. You got your time at time. No, sorry, it, it, it talks about like, answer getting chained up, and now I'm like, whew, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, someone has to get Morgue, you know? <laughs> Some, someone immediately <laughs> inform Morgue. Yeah. <laughs> Wowza. But, um. <laughs> Shit, I, I I just realized what I want for Izuna if he gets into uh, into uh, Strive. I know it would maybe maybe kill a little what he is an Overture, but actually give him one special that is just taking from everyone else, not in a clone sense. I mean, like he has a Grappler special, he has a Zoner special. Yeah. Give him, give him make he him a, make him a puppet character for a special, not in a chip <laughs> way. Just like give him make him one of every kind of archetype, and he's not great at any of them. It <laughs> would be really world. funny. And they just like made my game. Oh, we have to change it. Like, give... Oh yeah. They just like give him like a nine frame bar slash. You can steal Anji's spin. Just become the most fucked up useful monster you've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> just just give him some wacky, stupid shit. It's what he deserves. Actually, Izuna has Hell like, yeah. the, the first it. ever half spin where it, it does not give him like a parry at all. It just kills him. <laughs> it just it just makes him have fun and spin around. Dingy. Just gets dizzy and falls, and he gets put into like a it is, hard knockdown it is, stage. It's, it's like a, <laughs> it's like sin eating and strive. Yeah. Mm, yeah, it is, yeah, it is basically useless. Just there Funny for the thing culture. About that idea, you know the dodges in this game? They don't have eye yeah. They have super. Oh eyes. no. Oh my so, god, like, why? They can dodge something, and it's like, oh no, you still took damage from that. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck? What's the purpose of dodging then? Repositioning? Or... Uh, you don't get comboed. Mm hmm. That's it. Like, uh, uh, hey, how do we start the match? Get out of combo. Uh, so, uh. I believe that, like, Back. teams are set. Oh. Oh, oops. Uh, cut what? that out. <laughs> yeah, sorry. What? <laughs> so, like, What's that? These are also armor in this game. So, like,. I try to run up and DP someone, and they super me, and then I just die. Mm. I think I realized what it is. Um, uh, Geo or uh, Ari, can you change your team to, uh, to either A or C uh, team? Oh, I did not. Hey, we're doing two v uh, two, not four v four. I guess we're going C now. Yeah, B C versus C. It's a clunky little menu, but there we go. All right, oh, yeah. last one to close out the podcast. We got this. Celeste, are <laughs> you with me? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's kill. Go We're not going to win against the guy that wrote the dust loop, but you know what? <laughs> we will try. Yeah, I'm not that good. Like, I got to be like the guilty year two discord. Most of the people there are better than me already. They took everything I wrote down, and they immediately applied it better than I could. <laughs> Damn, I really like the green all on Izuna. He looks good. He looks like a soda. <laughs> I SHOWED UP! I don't know if it's <laughs> the rain, but my controller just got his rumble. I did not get- there was no rumble before. And now there is, I don't know if it's the rain or not. <laughs> it's just randomly doing it. He, it's Izna, he's fucking he, with you. As soon as Viber is going off. <laughs> Whoa, oh my hey. god. <laughs> Whoa, hey! On, on the subject Whoa, of- Hey! Uh, Izuna That's like a moment. Just I guess, taking a moment, like- this game is actually really fucking gorgeous. I'm such a sucker for kind of yeah. ugly looking things, and I'm just looking at Izuna in front of this waterfall, and I really like the gray textures that are going on with the map right now. Yeah, it this looks... is fucking pretty. Yeah, this is um, it looks nice. I like it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, sorry if I cut someone off. I was just like, huh. Yeah, I was just beautiful. Beautiful. I didn't know that I could do that. Okay. I was gonna nice. say on the on the subject of Izuna's vibrator. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Just, just what wanted to. Uh, just wanted to bring up uh, a few other like sort of superficial and observations. He cannot have a vibrator. I'm going to. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh. It, it was his birthday recently, August third. So happy birthday. Oh, to, yeah. Uh, I saw yeah. Arc yeah. Arc System acknowledged it. The only time that Arc System Works America has acknowledged Jizuna is on yes. his birthday, See, August sixth. Arc System Works America Twitter account. Remember one day he showed off Doom right before the Sims oh, really? trailer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was so mean! <laughs> and then after I saw, like, uh, they posted Cliff before.
for one of the trailers too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they just they just love having fun. Yeah. Lest we forget when they've had a little bit too much fun, though. I, I know when Pike just made it too oh, silly. No. Yeah, Pike, Guys, Pike we, made the tweet about it today. Yeah, we have to, everyone, we must take a moment of silence. Um, we, we must no, take wait, a wait, moment wait, wait, of wait, silence wait, for Wiggler and today. Hold on, we lost a real one recently. Um, we're entering a period of mourning. We, first of all, we have lost our freak-ass uh, social media manager. But more importantly, we have Again? lost evidence that of Arc System, Arc System Works debauchery, and we lost Wiggle, Wiggle Your Toes Wednesday. <laughs> so, <laughs> because the tweet has been deleted. <laughs> no, uh, okay, I saw it. I saw it back up. I am pretty oh, sure. Oh, they, they restored it! So, uh, back? They, it's just, yeah, I'm pretty sure they restored it. Oh, exactly. wow. Hooray, wiggle I guess. Your Toes Wednesday is real. Thank, thank goodness. Go Wiggle Your Toes Wednesday! It's so real! Go <laughs> Wiggle Your Toes Wednesday is real! Thank God we had someone go back in time to stop the, the deletion of the actual debauchery of our yeah. system works as old manager. <laughs> I, all I could think of when I, I saw that tweet from Pike saying that they deleted that was just the fucking the pictures with Stalin and it's him with the general and the next picture he's edited out. <laughs> just Arxis works ending their relationship with the uh, previous social media manager. But I, I do have to say, previous social media manager, I, I think, is that the guy that we met at Evo or, or did we meet the current one? Either way, one of them is nice. Yeah, the old one was, uh, one Dan chill. was uh, Danny something, which mm. I think we met and may have been the freak one. So, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> the freak? <laughs> <laughs> to, One of to them is my... with feet, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have you gotta have a little bit of weirdness about you if you want to yeah. be into Arc this game. A bit of a I, I think. So oh my cat girls attack. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say we're we're, we're fighting. You're, you're playing an RTS game where you play as a, a fox man with cat girls. I, I think you just gotta. You know, you gotta be cognizant of where it you're at. It comes with the fighting game territory. Exactly. At this point, yeah. You know? there, there's just... gotta be a little freakery. That's how you know it's genuine. Yeah. Yeah. I want, so, I wanted to ask, uh, what do you, what would you think, like, Izuna's Strive theme would be like? And what would it, like, I what would he, be, I guess, talk about? Uh, I'm imagining it's going to be something I think like Vikings, but what Yeah, it start something like Vikings theme, like how it is in just regular uh, Overture. Mm -hmm. yeah, he has a like, good-ass um, theme in Overture. And I like the, yeah, yeah. the Kabuki yo at the start, yeah, like, yeah. immediately giving the impression um, that he's a silly-ass guy. Japanese bro sound effect really number two. Reason. Considering, <laughs> why are you hearing Azuna's theme right now? Oh. That's the sad part of Overture. The themes only play when there's a master vs. master fight. Uh, uh. How long do the fights last in this game? Is it like only like five I, seconds or? As long as you're in the radius of your opponent, uh, I'll be honest, that depends how good people are at hitting each other. Like, that's just sort of... <laughs> Any fight, like sort of fighting thing. Combos are usually of like two or three touch, though, so mm -hmm. not that long. Yeah, you're, so you're gonna not get gonna three seconds. Like, oh, and the spawn will play on the last round. Like, oh my god. That too. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. But sometimes you don't even make it that far. Mm -hmm. I forget. So it, there's right rounds to this, right? Oh. Like we yeah. started round two. Okay. And at the start of every round, it gives you a bunch of mana based on how many ghosts you have. And other sort of things like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Go that way. So is it that I want to send my minions directly for the master ghost, or you generally want to have them hold positions because when they're at a ghost, they get a defense bonus. Mm -hmm. So you want them to control an area, and then you usually have them hold position there. And then when you're there with them, that's usually when you go on the offense, so you can help them clear up the enemies. Mm -hmm. ah, I'm trying to clear these the enemy men, minions here, but it's not. Oh wait, that's my teammate. That's why. Oops. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's just, that's just oh after, why? A teammate. That's that's <laughs> I should have done that. Please <laughs> wait. I do not want violence. I just. I just the first pacifist in Guilty Gear 2 Overture. <laughs> the first pacifist. Oh, pacifist run. Just let me chill whoa, and look whoa, at whoa, these whoa, Zunas like giggling cheap like whoa, once away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Story <laughs> of Guilty <laughs> Gear. He's uh, like, human, I remember your master ghost. <laughs> Oh, also, I really want to see Izuna and Strive because I think he'd be a really fun uncle type character for Sin. Yeah. <laughs> Please, I need my wish list for the Guilty Gear. Please. Is just is just for like fucking 
uh, Viking and Izuna to be there somewhere. They can be in the fucking opening for all I care, but please, mm -hmm. I need mm -hmm. something. Give me this. We well, the good news is, I, I, I think the anime will include a lot of Guilty Gear characters. I just don't think a lot of them are going to be important. I think it's going to be like, yeah. a, here's your one that's, still that's, image. That's, that's fine. Here's it your can one be like, still image of Anji they can show up like the fucking like the like the East Blue bad guys and the fucking We Are opening at the end like that. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Please just be in it. Mm -hmm. Go, my minions! Bro, Jay, I'm sorry if you've been watching this because I've just been. I, I, I've been oh no, you you have nothing to apologize for. I think this is a very unique and compelling viewing experience. Um, <laughs> just a few more notes, I guess, on Isna before we do close things out, though, if we're nearing that time. Uh, just something to remark on. Mm -hmm. Owing to the fact, I guess, that he is uh, a magical folk eye born out of, like, you know, the, the just shared cultural history of Japan and the specific mm -hmm. love of one wife for her husband. Um, one of the things that he is wearing in his outfit is an obi, which is kind of like a unisex uh, sort of like waistband that you see on uh, kimono. Uh, but in sort of modern use, it's almost been uh, more heavily associated with women rather than men. So I almost wonder if that was an intentional reference to the fact mm -hmm. that he's supposed to be like a magical folk guy born out of the wife's love for her husband. Um, uh, yeah. Another fun thing is that the wiki likes to mention that he uh, seems to care a lot about accessorizing. <laughs> so he has a lot of different uh, suba on his. So what you're swords. saying is that he's Ash Crimson, you know, he's carrying. About um, his yeah, there, there, there's yeah. a little bit of cuntiness to him. Yeah. yeah. yeah he, I, I imagine he's going to get into Scrabble. He's going to like have like massive cheekbones. Like, yeah, he, yeah. He, he like uh, while he was the, the, the mewing guy. Yeah, the mewing guy. My name, is, my name is Izuna. Yo. <laughs> I'm from the backyard, yo. Yo, yo. Okay. That's in character. He'd say that. He'd totally he, say that. If you want yeah. to, I will draw that so you can put it in the video. Oh my god, please. <laughs> I will draw that and then you can please. please. Mm -hmm. One of y'all probably knows I more about this than I do. Uh, does he use a country bumpkin accent very often? Uh, he. D I think th he does use it, I, uh, but like... Maybe two lines, but I think he does. Like, um, Jay, I think I linked you one where he was speaking in a country accent, right? Yeah, not not with special frequency compared to the other ones, but it definitely is one of the ones that he does use. Wait, there's sons in this game? What the fuck? Like the piece of hay in his mouth. Uh, and his master ghost has it too, which I'm just like, that's sort of like a farmer thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which I think yeah he's probably about to come across as maybe like a rice farmer then, right? Yeah, no, I think it, yeah, it's yeah, another it's thing the just hairpin. relating. Yeah, the the rice fuck. hairpin. You know, I just realized, Geo, you know the mod you constantly use for Anji with the hat? What yeah, if they gave Ethan yeah. of the hat? Oh! That'd be sick. That'd be sick. I, actually, that would be such a fucking sick. I am so excited for what they do. Zero gets in fact, I'm so excited to see what they do with the man. Because I, so far, with like the more like Japanese characters, every single one is trying to put so hard for these ones. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my god, on is so good. I, oh, on is so good. I'm, I'm I realizing I now I that this is basically going to turn <laughs> into a deathmatch death battle between mm -hmm. uh -oh. Izuna and Answer on which one gets in. Yeah. <laughs> again, again, Answer's chained up in an artist's, like, uh... They fucking, they fucking pull the, the, the... They pull his, like, gameplay shit out of him, like, uh... Asuka's pulling... The fucking flame of corruption out of soul. They're doing that to him, but constantly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like one took. They like uh, went to his jacket and just like mugged him of his cards. Yeah. And then now they're going to like. Uh... Fuck, I forgot what we're talking about. I'm dumb. I'm just kind of stupid. Anyway, you're all good. You're all good. We're, we're, we're pivoting a lot. Answer. Yeah, answer. Izuna being tortured and having to pull down like a new vibrating. Uh, Izuna must be going crazy right now. <laughs> I really uh, it's a good thing I have all my like audio like turned up completely, or else I'd hear my like, fucking like whimpering. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't want to hear that. Right I still yeah. want to hear it. I don't want is gonna whimpering on my PC. Yeah. My PC. Oh, I want that. Yeah, he is spamming his <laughs> voice lines right now. Sorry, sorry. He's very talkative. Mind if sorry. I cut in? Mind if I cut in? My 
Mind if I cut it? Mind if I cut it? Fuck, he's kinda got a Spongebob voice. I was gonna say, you're making him sound like Bubsy. D, you are giving me a lot of ideas for what to draw later. Fucking Spongebob Zuna is something I never would have thought of, but now it's going to be in my dreams. Not easing the bob. Izuna Bob, yes. Tell me the next piece of art I can I like that Izuna uh, talks to his minions and he's like, you know, hey, uh, how's everyone hold up? Going for free. <laughs> um, I guess just a few more little comments here. Hey. The the wiki uh, makes special note to mention the fact that uh, Izuna's main sword specifically is uh, called uh, Namakuda, meaning dull sword, which I guess mm -hmm. is supposed to be evocative of his oh. hesitance to fight and more of the fact that he's kind of like defined by his his calmness and love for the world, which I, again, I think is very, very cute. Hold on, I just- Story mode, yeah. one mission he participates in, he calls his sword an ornament, and then he says, mm -hmm. but there are certain times this ornament must shine forth. And then, mm -hmm. like, it's a little sword. corny, but I kind of like yeah. that. No, yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, it, it's still full of heart. It's really cool. And like, I described him as a coward, but he's willing to fight for his friends if they're in danger. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, he did yeah, he walk into the want... equivalent of hell to fight a chainsaw demon lady, so... <laughs> but honestly, I think I'm right? Mm -hmm. If I saw a cool-ass Chainsaw Demon Lady, I would be jumping in there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't yeah. think I would, but maybe Izuna's just more of a real one than I am. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna just really want to see what a cool-ass Chainsaw Demon Lady would look like. Mm -hmm. and, I, and you gotta respect it. Yeah. Go, my minions! Oh my god, I didn't even realize I was getting attacked. No! Go, my minions. Um, now he just gave me another idea. Kind of hard to get that map. He's been saying minions this whole time, but only now I'm thinking of drawing fucking Yuzuna as a room in front of all this fucking attack of minions. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh lord. And he owns... We are going, going to steal! <laughs> minions! We are going to steal the Zetson! The Master <laughs> Ghost! The Master Ghost! It's real! Oh, shit, wait. He just like goes to the fucking ghost eyes, he's like... It says I, I saw the enemy Master... What the fuck, where are they? Okay. Oh. Hmm. I was uh, right there with you running back to your ghost. I'm oh. seeing like one of the Master Ghosts like burning, and... Okay. Go off, I guess. That's nice. <laughs> oh, that's just a little that was. I Somebody got a little bit too silly over there. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't you guys hate when you burn yourself? So, usually yeah, I like so to ask true. this this question, um, but, uh... A Geo and Celeste, I don't imagine this is something that you'd know, but Ari, what were, have you had any, like, really remarkable, like, gameplay moments with Izuna, where it's like, you did something really, really cool, and you're like, oh, yeah, it's because I did it with Izuna, and, like, or just anything that, like, speaks to you whenever you think of this character? Anytime I can land that long knockdown, or anytime I get the big guy, Daidarabachi, to the enemy master ghost, it's just like, oh, yeah, that's great. <laughs> and one other one, uh, you know the, the snow, uh, Lady Oyuki? Mm -hmm. Uh, somewhat. Yeah. Uh, she's also a really good unit, and that if she gets to the enemy master ghost, and you manage to just push her, like, you actually have to literally, like, body block her and get her to nudge right up next to it. <laughs> she can basically strip a master ghost shield in one instant. Like, one attack. Oh my god. And, yeah, so, like, you do that, and then you just start wailing on the master ghost of Zuna. You can basically backdoor someone. And like, mm -hmm. just wipe them out, even though you should have lost that match. Mm -hmm. I'm just That's imagining like, Izuna summon, uh, summons the snow lady, and it's just everyone else on the map is like, Guys, hold her back, hold her back! Oh, <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> the snow woman! <laughs> the snow oh, lady! Wait, what? Fourth round, what? Four? Round, four? round four? What? what? Sure How many does this go to? Normal. Five. Just How is this possible? Ago. It'll never end. To be fair, we did stall a little bit. Mm -hmm. so. Um, the wiki also does mention the fact that uh, there is kind of an implicit connection between um, Izna and uh, Izna Gungen, which is apparently a deity that is said to protect the members of the Izna Shugen cult, which is enshrined at the summit of uh, Mount Izuma in uh, Japan. 
Oh my and, god, uh, I am running in slow motion because of this. Specifically, their deity is depicted as, uh, and this is just reading verbatim off the week here, but a tengu riding atop a white fox's back, which I guess there's the connection to Izuna being a white fox. Okay then, forward. Okay then, forward. Oh goodness. Izuna has that with her skin tone. Mm. Yeah, it's interesting that he's got the completely like pure white skin. He looks like a lobotomy. Can we, like, can we like get a like the PNG is so white? He's like, a Hoyoverse like, character. He's a Hoyoverse yeah, character. Yeah, get, yeah, get the PNG of Snow White. Let's like compare this guy to like, yeah. Snow White real quick and yeah. see like how much melanin he has. Mm. This guy's got uh, the FFFF hex code. Uh, skin yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was walking around looking like a Homestuck character. <laughs> Is there a use, like, in just running around and slapping the nodes when they're glo uh, glowing like that? Like, does it really stop them at all? Or I guess you just have you to stop their minions. You can stop your enemies, uh, the opponent, from getting more mana, but for the most part, uh, you don't do a lot of damage to them. It's just mm -hmm. what your units do. Honestly, I have no- I'm not sure what else to say about Izuna. I feel like I, I, I got exhausted pretty yeah. much everything I wanted you, to say. He's cool and the good- Um, Arsis, put this guy in strive so we have more to say. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Please, we oh, no. so badly in this game. Mm -hmm. It's over. Damn. No, oh, yeah, I love his win animation. Loop I forgot. Yeah. Uh, you know Chun-Li's, like, well. kicks? Yeah, mm -hmm. like yeah. the glory kicks? That. Yeah, he's got that where he stabs with the sword a bunch. Oh my gosh. I just got an oh, achievement cool. for losing three times online. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, yeah. Wait, um... They just gave you like a good. Yeah. Oh, I was just... it, was a... it was a joke. It's fine. Don't worry. I don't want. It's fine. But yeah, I just wanted to say, uh, I guess that's wrapping up for the Ease in a Podcast. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys all for coming on today. Yeah, it's been, it's been really yeah, fun. Yeah, seriously. Thank you guys uh, thank so you much. for having me. This has been Thanks a very fun me. and silly time. But I also feel like I learned a lot about this niche little game. And uh, if you want to play more, please check out the official Guilty Gear 2 Overture Discord that you can find mm -hmm. on the Dust Loop and uh, floating around on the internet. There's a lot of people that want to play this game. I know Guile Winquote made a game, a video on this game. Do oh, check yeah. it out. It's, it's he, interesting. He, he dissed it's he, Izuna, and then like I was, he, he then apologized because he didn't know he had that many shooters for him. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't understand that he was a dilf. Mm. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't understand the power of the Izu Nation. Mm -hmm. Izu Nation, I'm that's really a good really one. Bad. Oh, yeah, actually, it actually warps really well. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess it's meant to be and strive them. He has his own hashtag already. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Like you know, at Daisuke, don't forget. Don't yeah, forget. Yeah, Daisuke, don't forget. As this guy is strive, keep the answer in. in that basement. They're, they're definitely- <laughs> Keep answering! No, we can't do oh, this! Oh, that's what I wanted to say! That Izuna is mentioned in Exert, but it's only because Ariel's chained him up in interdimensional prison! <laughs> what? I I wanted to talk about this, I guess just really quick before we close things yeah, out. Yeah. What is the Guilty Gear obsession with putting people in interdimensional prison? This has happened to so many characters! They they put... just... They put him in- it's the Daisuke. Goku image! Daisuke's <laughs> right here! <laughs> Goku betrayed and trapped in a hyperbolic time chamber! I was talking to Jay about this uh, in private, but it's like... Daisuke is thinking of plot holes literally no one else would think of. Uh, Soul is like, ah, oh, damn, you know? Uh, I can't just teleport right to Ariel's. So we need to get Izuna. And, and, and Dr. Paradigm's like, oh, not so fast. Uh, Iz uh, 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 we, uh, Izuna's gone because he's been trapped in interdimensional prison. It's like, <laughs> Daisuke, I don't think I was watching Exert and thinking, oh, damn, why doesn't Soul just transport with Izuna? Like, he's the only one thinking of this. <laughs> <laughs> But no, I really, again, it's a testament to how much Daisuke really loves the franchise that he, mm -hmm. like, took the time to consider, like, well, hold on a second, I have this character, and I, I'm sure, even if other people don't think about it, I am, and I want to make sure that there is a defined reason that addresses every possible thing. I just wish that yeah. he would find a better contrivance other than Dimensional Prison, because we got Faust in Dimensional Prison, Testament was in Dimensional Prison, Crow was in Dimensional Prison, all of them broke out somehow! Uh, Jay, don't yeah, forget. definitely in Dimensional don't, Prison for a little bit. Don't forget, Justice was in Dimensional Prison, maybe Dizzy was born in Dimensional Prison! I think Eno, this pretty like, sure, right? 
this prison's getting very busy. Asuka was put into dimensional prison by by Batman. <laughs> like clearly, we have to visit dimensional prison in the next Guilty Gear game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, that's, 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 that's like when builds the roster. He just goes to dimensional prison. It's like the Suicide Squad, where he just like goes to the dimensional prison and just like recruits every character that put in. <laughs> yeah. I'm going on a mission. <laughs> Literally, we're going on a mission. But yeah, no, just just in general, I, I'm always in awe whenever we get through one of these episodes of just mm-hmm. how much, like, even through a short conversation that you could see implicitly, the impact that genuinely caring about a character like this that's even relatively minor has had on people's lives, that is still, like, something that people really form, like, a nexus around, and that, you know, even Daisuke still really, really cares about. So I would love to see Yzna show up in Dual Rulers or in DLC, or even as, like, a bad background character and like answer yeah. stage he gets out of the basement or dimensional yeah. prison well said jay i yeah. couldn't have put it better mm-hmm. everybody um, matters you matter mm-hmm. even if you like having fun mm-hmm. and with mm-hmm. that that's the end of the video uh goodbye everyone yeah thank See you guys bye, for bye.